Hello my loves, it's Kasha Plannerista 101. As you can see in front of me, I have my journal. We are planning for the month of February, so the week of the 1st through the 7th. This is the Wild Florals Classic Size Happy Planner. And as you can see, the colors have changed. It went from um, pink to the steel, including a different flower. I am going to be working with the Recollection Sticker Book once again today. I fell in love with this book and I've been using it a tremendous amount. So if you have seen the other plan with me's, this one is one with it as well. And while I'm going to be covering up that flower in the corner with um, Blossom and Bloom, I wanted to say thank you if you are subscribed to my channel. And if you are here for the first time, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. Okay, let's continue. So, now that the corner is finished, I am going to add a few boxes. This is my journal, but even with journal, I have been kind of um, adding quite a few boxes to those spreads to break apart my full writing. And so it doesn't look too monotone i think i enjoy like having different boxes and writing highlights of the day and so on and since this is only the first month that passed that i have a vertical journal i am still learning but again like i said lovely and i wouldn't change it for the world okay so next up i'm going to be adding some flowers and i'm going to be using the Signa Uniball pen to cover up some of the lines and make it a little bit less harsh. So here we go. I'm gonna put one of those beautiful big blooms like so. Look how lovely those are. Okay. And then of course I wanna balance it out and add another one. Oh, it's so beautiful. I really, really love them. So this book, again, was on sale and it is a buy one, get two free. So you get three books for $19.99. And I have actually a couple more on the way. I ordered a couple different varieties of them. And I, from what I've seen, they are absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to show you guys a flip through of those. And as you can see, I'm just adding different elements to the spread. And I think that works pretty well for me. Like I said, it breaks up my writing a little bit. And it gives me a moment to catch my um, train of thought. But also, I can write out the highlights of the day in those bigger boxes. Oh my gosh, look how lovely this is. These stickers are just beautiful. Did you guys end up purchasing those as well? If you did, leave me a comment down below saying, tell me which one of those florals is your favorite. Um, I am waiting for the spring to use a few of them because they are just so spring appropriate. It almost would be a sin to use them now. And it's Valentine's month. So pink is fully appropriate. And there's so many pink stickers. When I was uh, trying to find all the blues, 
it was way way more work to find um, blue stickers versus all the pink star available okay so here we go just a little flower in the corner I think that looks quite great I'm just gonna be adding a few florals here and there to work on this spread okay oh that one's so pretty so light okay i am adding more florals to kind of make my own arrangements once in a while i do that and let's see can i add one more here i think so i think that looks beautiful oh my gosh Okay, so let's cover up that note section because obviously that just can't stay like that. And I'm just gonna add a couple more things and I am planning to leave some room for writing for myself. So let's see. Hopefully next week won't be as bad as this week was as far as me being busy. So if that's the case, I maybe won't need as much room to write. We'll see. Okay, now I'm just adding petals to this spread. I removed those individual petals and I'm adding them to the spread. I think it's going to add a little bit of interest and also a little bit of color right because who doesn't want more pink in this lovely lovely spread so i am almost done i just want to like i said accentuate all of those elements of the spread and kind of add this tinsy little bit of additional pinks And I absolutely adore how it's coming out. I can't wait to write in it. And again, this is another spread with the same book. So now we have my catch-all, my um, monthly in my catch-all, and the currently page. And of course, this journal made with the same spread. So I'm just removing a few more petals and... I'm gonna add those and I think my spread might be finished. I am just looking for my tweezers because I love using tweezers in a planner. I'm not sure what it is but it just makes life so much easier. Okay. Maybe a couple more. I'm not sure keep looking until it's pretty balanced I think so I'm gonna add one more right there and one last one and I think that will be it I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you have this book are you as obsessed as I am and if so um how many spreads did you create with it so far again thank you so much for watching if you're already not subscribed please do so i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys soon for another plan with me bye